it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you all the flowers that we used for Isabella from Encanto. So um, I'm going to leave it on the screen for a little bit so that you guys can see. Um, I actually, I'm surprised that I used this many flowers. I, I didn't think I had that many in there, but um, this one is like a round, a rolled flower. This one is just a swirl, but it's a nice filler. Um, this rose is one of my favorites. I used it for Frida. It's beautiful when you make it big. It's a lot harder to work with when it's small, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, these two flowers, what I ended up doing was I stacked them. So that's why, you know, it doesn't feel like I did that many flowers, but I stacked these two so that it looked more like a pinwheel with like more flowers. So these two went together and then I put a rhinestone in the middle. This one, cactus flower is actually a lot of fun. And I sometimes took that, so it's four layers. It's the center and then three layers on the outside. I miss mixed and matched. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. These three flowers right here were, um, uh, what do I call it? That I can inter interchange interchange them yes so I mixed them up however I wanted to different combinations so that they looked kind of similar but they were still a little bit different I did different sizing for these three and then these two were just I only had a few I didn't love them but they were nice because they provided um, you know because you can see this little guy right here you glue it to this side so it kind of pops up like more like a tulip or like a little bulb so these two gave it like a little bit more um, height and depth to it. Okay, so now that I paused that, you can also in the description, it has all the numbers for you to look at. Let's go to make it. So whenever I do a project with flowers, um, I like to pick out you know three or four colors that I'm gonna be using. And with just those four colors, I'm gonna cut the same amount of flowers so that I can piece them together and they're in different sizes. So let's go and, oops, let's cancel this. I wanted to customize, not make it. Okay, so when they first drop in, like these are together, right? But I took this for this, sometimes I put it in here. Like I start to mix things around with different colors. It all works out in the end. Okay, so with this one, you can see what the dimensions are, right? This one's already kind of open, so let me ungroup it so you can kind of, I'm gonna move this aside. So this right here is one and a half inches. So you wanna look at the size of your Isabella. So mine was 30 inches, and I wanted my flowers to be about an inch to at most, I think I did two inches. So this is a good size. So you want everything to kind of correspond to about that size, okay? So here are the rolled flowers. This one's the swirl one that I was talking about. These two kind of plop up a little bit like into a V shape. So I made them, I cut all of them in four different colors. So the first one that I did like this, right? Then the next color, what I would do is I would then make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. So you have them in various sizes, in various colors, all being very cohesive. That's all you need to do. Let's talk about this rose. So this rose, when you make it really big, you can see there's two size petals. There's uh, this smaller one compared to this bigger one, right? These flowers are so small, I didn't even use the small, small ones. So I actually just got rid of all the small ones. The two big ones, or the big ones, I ended up only using two or three petals for each one. They, The flower was so small, I didn't need it. But I cut these extra ones just in case they rip. They don't take up that much room on, your, um, on the cut page. So I just left them in there, okay? So let's go to make it so you can see what it looks like. So for each color, I basically did two or even three. So I just did apply. Um, you know, you can move these if you wanted to in between the space just to save room on your paper, for instance, if you wanted to do that. And that way um, you're only using, you know, eight inches, for instance. And remember, I only use two petals for each flower. So in the end, if this doesn't work out, you could just delete some of these. But I think we can fit them in. 
So this is like the first one, right? So I'll go and I'll cut this in light pink. Oh, that's close. Let me see, there's another spot for it. There, in light pink. Then once this cuts, I'm gonna cancel, grab all of this, make it, a, or keep this size, duplicate it, and then, oh shoot, let me undo that for a second. Okay, I'm gonna grab all, duplicate, On this duplicate, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, but all the same color. Now I'm cutting purples, for instance. So now in the purples, I'm gonna have duplicates of each, but they're gonna be in different sizes so that I can move it all around her skirt and it will look really pretty without, without it looking so repetitive. So I am going to flip my screen just so that you can see what I'm talking about, okay? So give me a second. I'm going to bring over Isabella so you can see her. All right. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, look at these flowers. So let me move this up right around here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So... These two flowers are the same, different sizes. This one's got three layers, this one's got two layers. So you can see it started to mix and match. This one only has two layers. This one, this one's super tiny, but I put, you know, little rhinestones on it. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is the rose where we added the two petals. So, I mean, these are really, let me zoom in so you can see. Oops, maybe this one. I absolutely, this is one of my favorites, the rose. The swirls actually are really nice too. They're, they really make good fillers. Here's the rose again, kind of dark, right? I just, um, and then, you know, these are little fillers. They stick in there of different sizes so you can kind of see. Um, this one has two layers. This is the little V ones that kind of pop up that I was telling you about that one there and then I didn't love it here's the other one see it's not my favorite flower but it adds to it um, and it just makes everything work so you can kind of see I went really I mean in the sizing look at from here to here oops you can't see the one I'm pointing to right all different sizes the same set of colors coming through so that it looks cohesive but not so repetitive um, and also not so busy. Like I feel like it just, I, I love this character. So, and then um, for this flower up here, it's from Leah Griffith, it's crepe paper, um, it's the peony. And I kinda, I just went ad lib. <laughs> I, I used Leah Griffith's paper, uh, the crepe paper, and I used the template. But the way I added this was just my own. I was just scrunching it and putting it together. But I wanted something that wasn't cardstock and I wanted something very 3D feel-ish for her face because she's just got the, I mean, she's just so pretty and everything about her. I wanted to add something a little bit different and the color's a little bit different too, which I think is okay. But I kept in theme with everything else. All right, that's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or a special request. All right, see you guys.